In this video, we'll go over the ins and the outs of Variations Profiles. These are great for when you sell multiple products with the same list of variants. You can create one singular Variations Profile and assign it to hundreds of listings. Plus, if you'd like to make changes to the variants in the future, you can simply make them within the Variant Profile and the updates will take effect across all of the applied listings. Here we are in the Profile section of Vela. If you have any existing profiles, you will see them here in an overview of their assigned variants. One thing to note, there is no limit on how many variation profiles you can create. Let's go ahead and make a new one. When you click the Create Profile button up here at the top, it will open a new template. Give this profile a name and select the category of products it will be assigned to. This is a vital step because the category will impact the type of variations we are able to work with. Once that looks good, it's time to pick a variant. You'll see from this drop-down menu a preset list of variations. From here, you're also able to create a custom one. You're also able to add a secondary variant. With the main variant set, we can adjust the pricing, quantity, SKUs, and visibility using the tabs right here. It's important to note that these profiles will not merely add to the pre-existing listings, but rather replace all of the original details. Clicking into Price, we can select the checkbox next to Individual Pricing to set prices for each individual variant. Similarly, the same step can be followed to make individual edits to quantity, SKU, and visibility. For now though, let's go ahead and save the profile as is. You'll now see the new profile added to the top of the list. Down here at the bottom, you can see how many listings are connected to this profile. Since we just created this one, it has no products linked to it. To add this profile to any of your listings, click Connect Listings. From the pop-up, you'll be able to search for, filter, and select the listings you'd like to apply this profile to. We can pick and choose individual listings or click this button to select all of them. Once the sync completes, you'll see these products now attached to our new variations profile. If for whatever reason you want to remove a listing from this profile, you can do so by simply clicking this icon on the right. Heading back to the main view, you will see our new profile has been added as a filter. Selecting that as an option, going into the bulk editor, and clicking variations, you can see that all of these listings now have the applied settings. One handy tip to keep in mind is that you're still able to make individual updates to these listings without disconnecting it from the assigned variations profile. By clicking into any one of these listings, we can make additional changes without disrupting the settings of the other products. As always, make sure to sync updates after making any changes. Back at our main view, let's go over another way to create a variations profile. If you have any listings where the variants are exactly as you'd like them to be for other products, we can use those pre-existing settings to generate a new variations profile. Let's go ahead and select this product right here. Entering into the individual editor and heading to the variations tab, we'll see an icon over here on the right. By clicking this, it will take all of the saved information and convert it into a starting point for a new variations profile. If we click the indicator up at the top, we can head directly back to our variations profiles, where we can view and edit the attributes of the variations profile we just made. When you click Save, you'll have the option to update the current profile or make a new one with the revised settings. These options will appear anytime you make edits to an existing variations profile. Keep in mind, even though we pulled this information from an existing listing, there are zero listings connected to it. You will still need to assign this profile to the products you'd like following the steps discussed earlier. As you can imagine, this tool can be very powerful and robust. Let's go over one of the most common use cases. 
Many sellers want to have the same core attributes for their similar products, but still want to maintain unique SKUs or quantities. Let's go ahead and edit this profile to fix this problem. By unchecking the boxes next to individual SKU or individual quantity, the listing variance will be applied without altering the pre-existing SKUs or set quantities. Once again, hit save and choose if you'd like to create a new profile or update the current one. Since zero listings are connected to our new variations profile, let's head back to the bulk editor to go over another way to link your products to a variation profile. Go ahead and select the listings you'd like and click on the variations tab in the bulk editor. Let's say we don't want to alter the unique SKUs of these products, so let's make sure to use the variations profile we just created. By clicking on this drop-down menu and selecting the profile we were just working on, hit apply, and you'll see that the variations have updated but left our SKUs intact. Finally, to send these changes to Etsy, go ahead and hit sync updates. Now, if we go back to the profile section, we can see these listings have now been applied to our new variations profile. Before we wrap up, let's go over a few other things we can do with profiles. If you select copy, you'll see a drop-down menu of all the shops you have connected with Bella. You can either copy this profile to your current Etsy shop or send it over to another store to serve as a template. Let's go ahead and make a copy of it right here. You will see it pop up and you can go ahead and edit it as you please, making sure to hit save once you're done. Finally, if you'd like to delete a profile for whatever reason, you can do so by clicking delete. This action will only delete the profile. Any assigned listings and their current variants will not be removed and will remain unchanged. This covers the basics of our variations profiles. When used at its full capacity, this tool can majorly optimize how you run your Etsy shop. Go ahead and give it a try for yourself.